There's no surprise that Michael Jackson named Katherine Jackson to be the guardian of his children. That was his closest relationship. Besides his kids, he loved Katherine, considered her a saint, and throughout the years, that was his closest relationship. Totally loved her. It's not a big a shock to see Diana Ross's name mentioned, as people might think. First of all, they had a relationship that went for decades. He loved her, considered her a great mother, and I think he saw how she raised her own kids in the spotlight, and she, he admired her very much. All the kids had problems with Joe, and at some point maybe had falling outs of him, but everyone loved Catherine. I think that she was very much revered. She was a very spiritual woman, a Jehovah Witness, and she was the gentle force in the Jackson family. When they went to Catherine, it was all about the love. They could get away from the pressures of fame and the business. Her relationship with Joe Jackson could be a detriment because Michael Jackson's been on record as saying how he was frightened of Joe and how Joe used to call him ugly, so many different things. In addition, there's reports that Deborah Rowe is trying to get a, a restraining order so he won't be around those kids. People forget that Katherine Jackson has had a very long relationship with those kids. You know, during the trial, she was with them. She's always been with those children, whereas Deborah Rowe hasn't. I think that Deborah Rowe putting in legal documents saying that she didn't want to be a mother to these kids, that she wasn't a good mother, I think that would hurt her chances. I mean, who knows what might happen, but if you have a grandmother who's been loving and there all their lives, and you have a biological mother who has been distant and not visited them, I think that will be trouble. Come on, 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 come on,